You cannot retrieve indexes in B3 data structure, but you can retrieve information about indexes in the MongoDB collection. And there is special helper method get indexes that is used for this purpose. Let's look at this syntax. DB, then collection name, dot get indexes and empty parentheses. So just invoke method without any arguments. And the result, you will get an array, array of objects. And each object represents one index. By default, there is one underscore id underscore index. Here it is. We have discussed it in the previous lecture. So let's go to the MongoDB shell and try this. Let's try this on the person's collection. Just double click to open shell. And instead of find, just print get indexes and empty parentheses. And let's execute it command enter. And here is the result, just array with one object. So here is the key, underscore id colon one, and name underscore id underscore, and name spaces mydb dot persons. So mydb is database, persons is a collection. You can perform the same operation on the another collection, for example, shopping cart. Let's execute this. Same result. This means that underscore id is a default index that exists for each collection. The only difference here is namespace. So here is namespace mydb.shoppingcart. Okay, let's go on, and in the next lecture we will discuss how you can create new index. See you.